to my channel. Uh, today we're going to keep going with this eye, we're going to uh, refine uh, the middle of this eye and just start building up around the eye itself. Everything you need is listed below. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. If you're not subscribed already, please do uh, come and join our little art community um, and like this video. Okay, let's get going. So I'm just coming in once again, we're just sticking to the black. And I'm just going to really start to darken up these areas that need to be darker, especially in this middle section of the face. Uh, the face, it's not a face, <laughs> of the eye. And I'm just going to really start to build on these values and start adding the depth in this eye itself now we may find as we build up around the eye that we need to come back into the eye and if we do that's fine kind of how we work it's a back and forth process It's not going to be the chattiest video at the moment because we're just working on building up all our tones again and your eye can be slightly different to mine just all you need to do is look at this reference photo and where you want to add some of the darker tones in your eye add them um, where you want the lighter tones just keep it it's all about learning to work with your pressure the pencil um, pressing harder where you need to, lighter where it needs to be lighter pressure. I do think this is something that um, I mentioned in the previous part, in part one. Um, I do think this is something that we're going to do quite often. We'll, we'll do a, um, a tonal test and a pressure test piece. I'm just coming in at the bottom of this eye at the moment and darkening it up and just any areas where I feel I want a bit more depth in the middle of this eye especially in this sort of I think it's like a field so I'm definitely building up just some of the darker shapes that I can see and we are just focusing on the shapes don't worry about the fact that you're drawing an eye just draw the shapes once we've got in the rest of this, um, I guess if we say it's like structure of the eye, once we've got the rest of the eye mapped in, it'll really start coming to life a bit more. So I'm just slowly building up all the colours that I can see and the tones. And I've got, you can see I've got a really nice sharp pencil now. Um, especially when we want to start building up a bit of depth, having that sharp pencil is really going to help, especially on the Fabriano. You see it's really starting to build up those tones nicely. I've been looking at um, some reference photos and I found a fox that I quite want to draw so I think that's going to be our next wildlife piece. We're going to draw a fox, a little head of a fox. And I've chosen um, a side profile first for the fox uh, just to make it a little easier. We, we'll probably do more foxes in the future because they're such beautiful creatures. Um, it'll be a lot of fun to draw getting all those bright orange tones. So we'll, we'll do different variations of a fox as well. Right. Pretty happy there. So I'm now going to just pick up my white. Remember we're only using two pencils. And I'm just going to come over again. 
blend and if I just need to light oh the pigment bit of the light glow there and it's just circular motions just to help with that blending okay right i'm going to start building um around the eye itself so i'm just going to use a harder pressure and i'm just going to really darken these edges first of all so i've got a nice sharp pencil and i'm really darkening this up now Okay, so that's a really nice dark edge. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in very lightly. And I know that this is quite dark, but we're just going to light pressure so that we're just mapping in the shapes. And I'm using sort of curved lines. It doesn't need to be accurate just yet because we are going to keep building on top of this layer. that's going off to the other side there so you can see it's very light pressure with this black you could also do this with a sepia dark sepia pencil um, you don't have to just use the black and that's going to come down here right and then we've got a nice sort of tear line going along here so let me sharpen my edge there so you want nice sharp edges, so sharp pencil again. And I'm just going to very lightly, I'm just following the shapes. I can see, so this is going to form a tear line. So this is why I want a nice sharp pencil, because we're going to get a nice tear line. Being drawn in. And that's going up into that dark area there. And then this is like part of the eye, and that's going to be fur. And then I'm just going to bring in this darker edge here as well so it looks quite complicated at the moment you might be feeling a bit lost and overwhelmed but don't worry we're gonna really start to build up the shapes and again I'm just gonna use those curved lines right so I'm gonna darken these up and then hopefully you can sort of see where we are um, in the piece because um, it is quite a complicated eye there's a lot of detail going on in this horse eye and we've not drawn a horse together yet um, we may do one they're not the easiest animal to draw so I'm not quite sure yet if we will do one on this channel um, obviously I'd like to do the zebra um, so I guess we will be doing a horse but won't be soon um, I want to build, keep building people's confidence and keep doing some, they're not easy tutorials, but definitely easier than a horse. <laughs> and then along here. Now I've got little gaps within this area, so I'm not doing a proper black line and I'm not pressing too hard here. Okay, now I'm just going to take my white. And I'm just going to do, again, you probably can't see this, but a nice thin line where we've got that tear line. And these tear lines are really going to add to the uh, realism. Press quite hard. And then I'm just going to take my black. I'm not going to press hard, just very lightly over the top. And that's, and I, by lightly, I'm holding my pencil right at the top so that I'm not applying hardly any pressure 
and I'm just going over the top and that's going to be a highlight so it's not pure white it does have a grey tone to it and that is going to be our highlight for that part of the eye okay so we're bringing this in here I'm just going to let me have a look so I'm confused by my own liner so I'm just going to map in that is part of the eye there. So let's get the top of this eye mapped in just so I know what I'm doing. And that's going to be quite dark here. So that's that, that's that. So this bit here, I've got a line here. This needs to be dark. And that's coming down here. And all of this area is going to be quite dark. So I'm just mapping in. I'm just mapping in shapes and I'm just trying to follow the shapes that we can see. So that needs to come up here a bit more and round here. Okay, that makes sense now. I've drawn what I've done is I have drawn this little bit, oops, too small. So I'm just gonna so because I've used light pressure, you can see I can erase that that um pencil mark and the black because I'm not pressing hard at all so if you can't erase it you've pressed too hard um, and I'm just going to erase this line I think I pressed too hard with this line but we'll see no not too bad um, let me just get my putty eraser and we can lift this bit of there we go just the bits of eraser that are going on there right so we're coming out from this corner and up here and then we've got a line coming up here and then all of this is that shadow so I'm just gonna Add a bit of a bit more layer there. Okay, so hopefully you can start to sort of see now we've got this eye shape mapped in. It's taken a bit of working out. Um, line art probably wasn't the clearest. It's probably slightly incorrect, uh, but we've got there. Okay, so I've got a nice sharp pencil again, and I'm just going to come in with these lines and really press on now. So at this point, we won't be able to erase it. It will leave some pigment behind on the paper. So we only come in and press harder with our um, pencil when we know or when we're happy with the position that we have uh, created with our pencil lines. And I'm just coming in and just adding some of that colour so I know that I need to go darker. So I'm going to come back in, just press really hard, get that nice depth in here. And then it's quite dark here in this corner, so I'm just going to apply dark. At harder pressure and then I'm just reducing the amount of pressure as I come up here and again it's dark in there and then reducing the pressure okay, I'm just going to get them my white just over the top not over the not over where you want it to be the darkest points but just in like this middle section here help with that blending and then we can build up on top of that again quite excited for you guys to have a go at this one actually it's a nice little challenge okay and then back to my white 
has been a nice challenge actually just using two colours or two pencils. Okay, so I'm just going to take my black again and I'm just working out, we'll keep coming up this eye I think. So I'm just going to darken here. So we're going to start getting this really nice depth to this eye. And what I'm going to do is, the pencil strokes I'm going to use, if I get this piece of paper, we're going to curve it like this. So from this eye and curve it. And it's going to help give us that rounded look. So you just back and forth and I'm just curving my pencil strokes. Get this away. So remember, even though we're built, just building up with one colour and one pencil, and I'm pressing hard, getting this dark black now. We still want to focus on the shapes that are being created. So we're making sure that we're still following the direction that's happening. So we still need to add the um, eyelashes. We'll come in and do that once we've done this bit. And then as we come around here, I'm just going to curve it this way. Kind of meets in the middle here. From there. And I'm just going to darken down into this corner as well. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. It's been a while since I've actually done something like black and white. So this is a nice challenge for me as well to make sure that I'm focusing on values. Okay, so now that I look at this, I just want to darken here a bit more. I'm just going to take my white, let's go the highlight there. It'll just be a bit of back and forth. Okay, right. I've got to, using the sharp end, and I'm just going to come in. And draw in some of these eyelashes, the little shadows of the eyelashes. And they don't, again, they don't need to be exact, but you just want to be looking at the um, reference photo, seeing the direction that they're going in, and you be confident with your strokes. So, pencil down, lift. As you're bringing that pencil down, lift it off, and that'll give you that nice tapered edge. It's quite thick here, so I'm just going to make sure I've got quite a few going in that area. And I'm turning my pencil around all the time to make sure that I'm using the sharp point of the pencil. I'm going that way. Okay, and they're coming this way. And adding these really brings that eye to life as well. I'm just going to get my white going around the eyelashes. I'm not going over it. I'm just going to try and lighten a little bit here. Okay. So I'm just going to very lightly, just ever so slightly darken. Yeah. Just to help get that little bit in underneath those eyelashes 
looking a little darker. That's just by darkening up the area surrounding it. Okay, this is looking all right. I'm good in there. So I'm just bringing that white. And that goes to about here. So I'm bringing it right up to that edge. And then darker line here. And this is quite dark. Okay, so it's just following the shapes. That's all I'm doing. Just following the shapes. This is dark. Okay, and then here as well. Just going to darken there. Take my white where I've got a little highlight going on. And then I can just come in with that black again. And we'll just start to darken up here. It's darker to about there, and then we'll add that white again. This will just help knock it back a little bit, and then we can build up a colour from there. So bring that black back in. There's a lot of back and forth between the black and the white. Just knocking back the black ever so slightly and then blending and then bringing that black back in. Um, but hopefully you can kind of see now it's really starting to look like an eye. I'm just going to temporarily erase Ooh. a little bit of smudging going on there. This is the issue with the um, black polychromos. It does smudge a lot. So just be careful as you're using it. Right, as we come down here into like the tear ducts area, it's getting quite complicated. So we're just going to take it step by step. So we've got this area mapped out first and we can see we've got like a dark triangle coming around here. So I'm just going to map in that dark triangle. And bring that around here and this area this middle bit is black so I'm just going to go straight in with a hard pressure and map that all in as black and down here Okay, so that's mapped in as our black. Now we've got a lot of different shapes going on. But again, it's just about the shapes. So we're going to come straight down here in the middle of there with a line. I'm going to take my white because we do have quite a light highlight along this edge. So I'm just going to bring that in. So I'm now just going to darken this edge here. And then just lightly build up. Should have darkened that edge there a little bit more. There. And then just darken ever so slightly the white. 
We don't want this to be pure black, but we want it to be dark. And when I say pure black, I mean like we don't want it to press as hard and as hard as we've been doing for the darkest areas, but we still want it to look dark. Okay, and then I'm just going to darken here. So harder pressure around the edges and then I'm just lightening that pressure off. And you can see where I've had that white pencil, it's left a nice little highlight. And then I can just work over the black area. I am making sure not to go over this white highlight as I'm building up the layers. Don't want to darken that anymore. But the area around it could be a little bit darker, so that's all I'm doing. It's just the area around it. I'm gonna darken there. Right. It's coming along nicely. <laughs> Okay, so we've now got a lot of different shapes going on in this eye, so I'm just going to erase this graphite because we're doing it without the graphite lines. Let me just use my putty eraser to pick up those sharper those, um, eraser ends. And then um, making sure I'm using the sharp point of my pencil, I'm just going to map in some of these dark shapes. Now don't worry if you can't map them all in. Because it's quite a small detailed area to draw in. So we just want the basic shapes. Remember it doesn't need to be exact to the reference photo. We're not doing a photo copy. We're doing our interpretation of this photo. So I've just got some basic shapes going on there. That we can see. I'm just going to take this white again and then any areas where I just want it to be really nice and light going over with the white and then I'm going to take that black and these are shapes that I've mapped in I'm just going to really start pressing in and darkening up so you can see we're using light pressure first if you feel brave enough to go in and press really hard straight away do but remember you won't be able to erase those areas and then once you've darkened them up, you can just come in with your black, lighter pressure, and you just can build it up. And then the white. And I'm not going over, remember, with the white. Don't go over those areas you want to be jet black, really black. Going over the lighter areas. And then back over. And the white again. Into that black and just darken. Lighter pressure. And here, just darken. Just going to sharpen my black. It's not quite sharp enough. You need a really sharp point for this tear line. So I've got a nice sharp pencil, and I'm just going to make. Oh really darken along here but make sure it's not it doesn't want to be too thick a line but it does want to be black So I've got this piece of paper under my hand to stop the smudging and to stop my hands from touching the paper. Okay, 
and I'm just going to come in with that white. Now, my white's getting a bit of, you can see that on the uh, tip, it's a bit black. So I'm just going to use the scrap piece of paper and just clean that tip. And this is just because we've been drawing on top of the um, black. And then I'm just going to come once in, once again, sorry, along this tear line. And then we can just darken here. Okay, right, we're getting there now. Really starting to come together nicely. So I am, where do we want to go next? I think we're just going to build up this area first. So this is coming up here. And this area is quite dark. So we need to bring this out a little further. And then just, and I'm doing those circular motions. We're not drawing fur here. This is like the skin around the eye. And it does curve. I can see it curving here. So I'm just going to curve this line. It's curving around here. Into there, so this curved line that I've just mapped in needs to be darker. So I'm just going to increase my pressure. And this area is going to be dark. And then I'm just going over that. Uh, uh, this area with medium pressure just building it up so it's getting darker keeping those really dark areas nice and dark I'm just going to bring in that white help smooth it out and then I can go over the top and then we can go over that again Okay, really looking good. Okay, right. So we can keep bringing this round here. So if I'm looking at this eye, we've got some really nice deep lines going on here so I'm just going to come in again with this black really darken especially here and all I'm doing is I'm just adding in those details that I can see these really dark lines that are going on this is coming up into here and this is dark here. Yeah. So we're really starting to just bring in the shape of this eye and what's going on around the eye itself. So this is really going to start of set the eye in place. So what we've got going on here is like almost like some wrinkles. So we're just going to make it darker where that wrinkle bit is, so where this line is. And then this area in the middle is going to be a little lighter, so lighter pressure. We want to keep it darker at the edges and lighter towards that middle area. And doing those circular motions to build it up. And 
that white in again to smooth it out. So you can see already we're not really getting any depth to these wrinkles yet, but as, as we can't, uh, as we keep building this up, we're going to start to see, hopefully, I'm looking a bit more 3D. So in here I can see that I'm just going to start curving these lines around like this and it's going to curve up and round here as well. And this area is quite dark so we're going to press harder here. And then just build up that layer of colour. Well, I said colour of black. <laughs> Hopefully, though, you can start to see now, even with just one colour, we've got so many different shadows going on. We've got different mid-tones going on. And we've got the highlights. I'm just going to bring that white in here again. Not the easiest eye to draw, but maybe we should do something easier next time. But I think it will be something that we do quite often. Just gonna... All I'm doing is I'm looking at my reference photo and I'm just building in the shape so I can see around this eye. Right, we've got some highlights going on here. So any areas that I want to be really quite light, I'm just going to preserve straight away. Go straight in with that white. And then we can use these circular motions to just build up some texture and some colour. Around here. I don't think we'll finish this in this session. I thought we might have done. I think I'm right that it's going to be a free part. Which is fine. I'd rather us take our time to build this up. So you can see we're not pressing hard, we're just slowly building up the colour. And then we'll just, once you've got some pigment down, we'll just go over that again. Still using light pressure, so I'm not pressing, uh, holding the pencil quite high up so that I don't press too hard. Okay, so you can see I'm really starting to build up along here. So I'm just going to do one more pass with the um, black and then we'll use the white to smooth it out. And then we can really start building on the tonal value in this section. Oops. So I'm doing those circular motions again. Right, so I'm going to come in with the white 
these little circular motions and just start to smooth and blend this black out. You could also use, if you didn't want to use the white or you don't have a white pencil, um, use your 1 grey 2 or 1 grey 1 um, and that will help you with the blending. I think most of us have the white pencil. Or you can just use the black. And our blending stump, a blending stump will help you with the um, black polychromos. I know a lot of um, graphite artists who actually use the black polychromos within their work. In there, so we've got a lot of building up in this area to do yet. So, we're definitely not going to finish this eye. I think I was a bit ahead of myself thinking we might get it done today, <laughs> right? So, bring in this black again. I'm just going to darken that wrinkle back up. And I'm just going to start adding in some of these details that I can see. So this area we know is going to be quite dark, so I'm just going to start building this up again. And this is curving round. So I'm now using these rounded curved lines. They're not, and I'm leaving gaps in between because we've got some nice texture going on. On this skin so leave some gaps just start to curve those lines and make sure that these wrinkles stay dark and then we've got this area is quite dark oops sorry I've got something in my eye Go. Right. <laughs> I've got a lot of ideas for future tutorials. We've got a lot of wildlife coming up. Um and we'll do the odd dog here and there, but I think we're gonna do some wildlife pieces. Um a lot of people have expressed how they'd like to do some wildlife, so give us a li little break from all the dogs. <laughs> I'm just curving the lines. Following those details. And then the darker details. Just darker shapes. Remember, it doesn't need to be exact to your reference photo. We just want some of these shapes being mapped in. Reference photos, there's a reference and a guide, especially for like direction, a sphere, direction you need to be doing your pencil strokes in, your tonal values, but it is there just as a guide, so it doesn't need to be exact, especially when we're just doing something like this eye study. And just making sharp curves. Darken this up. There is a lot of back and forth, especially when we're working with just one pencil. You don't have like a light grey. So say if we used one grey one as our base, that would be our highlights. We don't have that with this. So we've just got to build up those shadows while making sure that we've still got that contrast going on. 
So I'm doing a lot of back and forth, making sure that my pencils are curving to give the shape of this eyelid. Harder pressure where I just want some of these details showing. Especially down here, we want this to be really dark. Okay, and then I'm just going to come back in with that white. I'm not going over all of that black, just areas where I just want to add in some details. So we're going to use this white to add in some details. Because remember, it's going to lighten that black in areas as you are applying it. So it's a great way of adding in extra details. I'm really happy with how this eye is coming along now. It did look weird. It always looks weird when you just have this middle section, but now that we're starting to build up around it, it's really starting to look like an eye now. So this is why I always, with the um, real-time long tutorials, where we start with the eye, we always get in some fur around the eye. Because it just looks weird without it. Right, going back to my black. It's kind of like my last pass. So really building up these details now. If we need to come back, we will. We probably will because you know what I'm like. Here. Now I know a lot of my tutorials are on the um, grafting film, I'm going to do a post in my um, Facebook group as well, um, but I may do one or two on the drafting film, because um, it will be a little quicker, and there's different techniques that you can use on the drafting film, so I actually used to use drafting film for all my work um, before I swapped over to this Fabriano. What I'm going to do now, just before I keep talking, um, I'm going to use circular motions across all of this section with this black, very light pressure, just to build it up again. Um, so yeah, I used to use drafting film with all my pieces. So I'm, I'm quite, I quite want to do some tutorials on the drafting film as well. Um, it's a different paper to work with. It doesn't need as many layers. So it may, may be a paper that some of you prefer to this Fabriano. So I know the Fabriano isn't cheap as well. I think the drafting film can get a little cheaper. Um, but I will let you know in advance uh, when we do a piece on the drafting film. You can still do it on the Fabriano if you don't want to buy um, drafting film. You'll just need to, um, as, you, as you know, with a Fabriano, it's all about your layers. So when we do a piece on the drafting film, just keep building your layers on the Fabriano. Okay. I'm happy with that. That's coming along really nicely. Right, I think I want to get in a little bit of this bottom area. Um, and then uh, we will leave this part of the tutorial there and come back and finish the eye in the next part. So I am going to start off by following here and just adding in circular motions, some little details, not very hard. And then it comes to about here. And then I'm just going to map in that this area is quite dark up to about there. 
and then um let's have a look at the way it's curving so it's curving sort of downwards like this so fairly straight lines and then it starts to curve that way and up there just going to take that white i'm not going to press too hard but just along here where it is a highlighted area and i'm not worried about that black pigment on the end this time um that's fine it's not going to be a pure it's not a pure white area it's a very light gray so just along here and then i'm going to take that black over the top very light pressure And just darken these lines because we want them to be darker we don't want that to be as light light pressure along here and then i'm just gonna darken this line Back to the white, and I'm using hard pressure now. Get a nice grey, light highlight here, and along here. Okay, right, so I'm just going to bring shading down here, a little, so I'm using those curved lines like this along this edge. Using the sharp point of that pencil. And we're just going to use these curved lines along here don't worry if you've got a little bit of a resist with that white it's perfectly fine you don't want it to be too dark here and then just going to sharpen my pencil again I want a really sharp point once again okay so with my sharp pencil I'm just going to come along this edge once again and I'm using harder pressure. I'm going to start to darken up this edge once more. And as I come down this eye, I can see it's start, start, um, starting to get a bit lighter. So I'm just going to start using those curved lines again. And not press as hard and not as harsh an edge. So here we've got quite a harsh harsh. Words are hard today. <laughs> we have got quite a harsh edge. Whereas here it's a bit softer. So I'm using those circular strokes. And then blending into that harsher edge there. And then I can just darken down here. And down here. Those curved lines once again. I do hope it hasn't been too complicated an eye and it's not the easiest. Maybe we'll do like an easier dog eye next. Horse eyes can be quite complicated, um, which is why I haven't done a horse tutorial yet. They're not the easiest animal to draw. But I saw this photo and I really liked it and I thought it'd be a good a good one to do as a monochromatic piece okay i'm just going to bring my white in again so and then my black because it's not as this this highlighted area isn't as light as the tear line so we just want 
a little bit more depth. Still want it to be a highlight. We don't want it to be black, but we just want a little bit more depth. And then I'll just go back over. That white. I'm just going to clean my white off again. And I'm just going to come back along here. Really hard pressure. This tear line. I just want to really make sure that this tear line is going to be quite light. So get a nice resist from this white pencil now. Along that line. Okay, and then my black. I'm just going to sharpen this edge off again so I'm just pressing quite hard now once again just to really darken that line okay so I'm just gonna bring those lines down right and there I'm happy with this eye it's looking pretty good <laughs> so we've got um, a nice little section of the eye here that we need to um, get drawn in so I'm just gonna map in very lightly again the shape here now we're starting to get into the fur of the um, the horse so we're going to really need to start focusing on fur strokes soon so once the strokes there so that needs to be darker so these two lines are a bit darker and then the circular strokes again along here Right, now I've not done in here because this is quite a highlighted area. So I'm just going to bring the Y. I'm not pressing too hard. Still want a bit of resist, but I still want to be able to draw over the top along this edge. And then I'll take that black again. So I can still feel I'm getting a bit of a resist, but my black is drawing over that white. And then I can just... Bring those pencil strokes down. Along here. So this area is quite dark, so I'm just going to build up some of that colour. Build up these more dark wrinkle lines I'm not going to do too much here because like I said we are starting to get into the fur but I just wanted to bring in this section so that we know what's going on now we've got some of these lines so again using the sharp point of that black bring in some of that detail Quite a detailed area in this little corner. I'll just use that white over the top of all this. And I think once we've got this white in, I might leave this eye here for this part. Because we're going to start getting into all the complicated areas and the fur. And I think we're going to leave that for the next part. Um, but yeah, because it's starting to get quite complicated, is this eye. And I don't want to overload as it's not been the easiest part anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm, I think we'll, we'll leave it part two here. And then in part three, we will um, start by getting in the top of this eye. Um, this is quite an easy area. And then this area at the bottom is quite difficult, quite complicated. But we will break it down as usual and um, make it as easy as I can for everybody. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial so far. Um, I hope it is helpful for you all um, doing a just a one pencil study of an eye. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in part three. Bye, everybody.